Unit 5, verbally, words, language, all the things you say. How clear it is, is another thing. Relative language are words that grow. They gain meaning through comparisons. Static language implies that a situation or person is always the same. I language changes the blame. Your annoying changes to, when you make those sounds, I have a hard time focusing. Unit 6, nonverbal, what isn't said. Touch, physical appearance, personal space, eye contact, gestures, all these things are silently said. The body communicates in ways we don't all, always notice. Unit 7, listening, the process of your ears. First you hear, then you attend, understanding's third. Lastly, we respond. This is complete listening. Unit 8, conflict. I yell, you yell, we yell, that's a fight. But not all fights end up negatively. A shark competes, an owl collaborates, a fox com compromises, and a teddy bear accommodates, and a turtle avoids. These are the styles on how people conflict. We've covered eight units, eight aspects. They all work together to create human relations. Areas, and so I have them all in here. And what I would like is to have, I thought, what better way to have interpersonal uh, uh, relations than having my class come up and be interpersonal with me. So I'm going to have each of you come up and grab a little bag, pour out the contents, and put together a puzzle. Um, the quote for listening is from Ernest Hemingway. When people talk, listen completely. Most people never listen. I agree. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, what you do speaks so loud that I cannot hear what you say. And he's speaking about conflict. And Confucius, he who speaks without modesty will find it difficult to make his words good. The Dalai Lama, we can never obtain peace in the outer world until we make peace with ourselves. Dale Carnegie said, when dealing with people, remember you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but creatures of emotion. Mm -hmm. And C.W. Leadbeater said, it is one of the commonest of mistakes to consider that the limit of our power of perception is also the limit of all there is to perceive. Cool this I'm still in high school so you know jumping into college like this was pretty neat and I just you guys are all so funny and so nice and so accepting and I just I think that's the one thing that I'm gonna take away that you know people are nice there are nice people out there and you know you can find them and I found them here at Broadview. That's nice. That's really nice. <laughs> and with a lot of different circumstances and whether you don't like them at the moment or not you can eventually like them by the end of the day out of this class is well, communication because communicating is a big deal and the I message thing that that really made a big difference in my home and it helped me actually open up to my family and let them know how I'm feeling so it, it did a lot for me, and I'm going to miss this class. I'm trying not to cry, just so y'all know. It's been an emotional day for me today. But um, this, this class, I met some really cool people. This class, um, my classes this quarter weren't, I don't know, that great, I guess. <laughs> they were kind of boring, so it was nice to have class to look forward to. I enjoyed everybody in here. I don't, I guess there's not one person that I didn't enjoy seeing every week. Um, I liked getting to know all about your families and all about the stuff that you guys do day to day and what you like to do outside of school. And I hope you all succeed in what you want to do. Like actually understanding all the units that we learned and like knowing about them and every, every day because you see it every day but you never really know like conflict and that type of stuff and body language that kind of shows a lot about character and stuff and 